countless lakes and rivers spread across a beautiful Canadian landscape, Manitoba is known as a fishing paradise. Huge portions of Manitoba have never been touched by industrialization or residential development, leaving many of the water sources across the province in pristine condition. The province is filled with a wide variety of exciting fish, including pike, walleye, rainbow trout, and huge brook trout to speak of a few. This week we target brook trout. I'm Bill Spicer and this is the new Fly Fisher. And there you go. <laughs> The new Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Travel Manitoba, Orvis Sporting Traditions, Rio Products, Superfly, Fly Fishing Made Easy. Today my adventure is in the province of Manitoba. I first fly to the city of Winnipeg and then board a small plane for a two hour flight north to Elk Island Lodge located on God's Lake system. This system which runs into Hudson Bay is an internationally renowned fishery. There is fantastic fishing on the main lake for northern pike, walleye and lake trout with fly out trips for huge brook trout on God's River system. My guide for this week is Clayton B. He's a very experienced guide with a good sense of humor and is very patient. I'm sure I will be successful. Fish, yeah. Right at the ledge. Right at the ledge. So let's get them on the reel. What I've got is a intermediate sinking line on here right now, but I've had to, with the, the, the velocity of the water, I've had to put some extra weight on it, a couple of split shot just to get it down. And I cast it over into the corner where it was quiet, and then it went into the fast water, and that's where it hit. Now, my guide is getting us up into some calm or water so we can net this. Okay. Looks all right. And pass them back here. And a smaller size brook trout. And away he goes. Now what I'm using I'll show you right now, it's, it's kind of a, a peacock curled black woolly bugger, right there. It's got some peacock curl, a little bit of flash in it, but what I had to do is what right here, see? Above my knot, I got two split shot. Uh, the water, the velocity of the water here is quite, quite fast. I was unexpected for that. Next time I come, I'll bring a full sink line, which will get me down. But right now, this seems to be working. They're holding tight right in front of the the fast water, I guess that's where the food is coming down to them. So that, uh, I'll try that again. Hopefully one next one will be a little bigger. Yeah, I got one. Yes, sir. Took it on the swing. Yeah, it feels decent. Oh yeah, this feels really decent. <laughs> Just got a quick look at it there. It's a little bigger than the last one I got, but we'll see. 
Again, we're just swinging across Atlantic salmon style. But I've got a, a couple of extra split shot on there just to, to make sure it gets down. The water here is pretty quick. And, oh, this, this is a good fish. This is a decent fish, yes sir. Here we go. Now, we're getting into a little better fish here. Okay, there, hooks out. I'm gonna release this guy. Away, away he went. Wow, <laughs> they revive quickly here. The water's ice cold. Uh, we're way up in the north, so uh, the water's cold. Brook trout are hungry. That was great. Uh, like I say, I'm casting down and just letting it swing on its own. I've got enough weight to get it down probably two or three feet, and these fish are, are hammering them as they go by. We came expecting dry fly fishing for brook trout, but Mother Nature being what she is, there was an incredibly cold spring. So everything's about three weeks behind. There was no hatches whatsoever. When that happens, you want searching patterns, which to me are woolly buggers. We put them down, got them down near the bottom, and I had success. Fish on, oh well. Oh, we're moving down, and he's moving up. Now, it's quite the fight when you're in this kind of current. Got to get him away from these rocks. Little side pressure, let's see what happens. The fight is fantastic. Very strong fish. Now, I'm trying to get him on this side of the rocks, but not going to happen. So, let him go down. And I got lucky, got through the rocks. Now, when moving down like we are here, you have to keep up with the line. That's a, that's a nice trout. You should be getting about tired. That's a good one, yeah. Yes, sir. Excellent. Excellent. And the fly popped out. Oh, what, a, what a convenience that was. Now, this is a decent fish. I like it. <laughs> Whoa. And they're feisty. Uh, let's put them back in the net for a second. Put them in there. Let them revive a bit. Now let's let them go this way. And away he goes. <sighs> I love brook trout. They fight so hard. And when they hit, they're as, they're as vicious as any pike I've ever caught because they, they hit to kill. So it's a big boom when you get it. Wow. Love it, love it, love it. More Brook Trout action when we return. Well, if people want to book at Elk Island Lodge, the best thing to do is contact at least six to nine months in advance to when they want to book. Uh, at Elk Island Lodge, we have guest cabins for two, four, six, and eight. Uh, private cabins, we give the guests the cabin all to themselves. We never mix and match the groups. Indoor showers, indoor washrooms, nice common room, beautiful views of the lake, all the comforts of home. In my experience, brook trout on big waters like this like it just above the rapids, right where the water dumps down. If you swing your fly right in front, across it, that's generally where they are. Uh, try to get it down and, and they're there because that's the first place the food is being washed down through the rapids. So it's, it's an effective spot for them to, to hold. Uh, it's before there's, there's rock behind them, so there's, there's a bit of a pillow they can hold in there. So anytime you see it dumping into the rapids, try above first before you go down and try where you usually would uh, in the lower part of the rapids behind rocks and stuff. But right at the top, that's generally a good spot. Fish on. Oh my. Wow, did he ever hit that? Oh, look at that. That is one of the hardest hits I've had. 
Oh, one of the hardest, man. Oh man, did he hit He nailed it. This is a trophy. Oh boy. As soon as he hit that, he was gone. He's a smart one. Boy, oh boy, is that ever a nice fish. Woo! <laughs> is that ever a nice fish? Oh my. <laughs> Now we're talking fish. Look at that. Oh wow, that's that's a nice, nice fish. And and there he goes. Woo! <laughs> now that's fishing. Oh, he hits so hard. I knew right away that it was going to be a large fish. Hit hard and went upstream. You know it's a good fish. That's when you gotta allow them line. Don't hold on for dear life. Allow them to take the line out. That's the only way you're gonna get them in. Woohoo! God's river is large and fast, but don't let this intimidate you. Whenever you run into a large river situation, break it up into small sections and work those small sections the same way you would when working your stream at home, looking for current breaks, rocks, anywhere the fish can hide. Fish on. Oh, it's a good one. Oh boy. This guy's gonna make it hard on me. Good man. Oh man, what a fish. What a fish. Now, how do you like that, folks? Huge. Well, I'm gonna put him back in the net so we can get him back in the water. So he swims out of my hand. Fish on. Another good one. Another good one. Now I gotta be real careful. Try to get control of them. Oh man, another good one. Excellent. Okay. Very nice. Beautiful fishing here. And away he goes. Yep. <laughs> He'll make his way out. We'll be right back. Elk Island Lodge, the staff here is what makes the place. Um, yes, I'm the owner, uh, but I can't guide and take care of the lodge and take care of the reservations and do all the maintenance and clean the cabins. The staff here at Elk Island Lodge are phenomenal. They are very, very geared towards quality customer service. Uh, the chef is outstanding. The girls clean the cabins very nicely, make it very comfortable and cozy for the guests. And the guides are second to none to the lake. They know the lake like the back of their hands and uh, they do an outstanding job. God's Lake is not only known for incredible lake trout and walleye fishing, they have outstanding pike fishing. I was excited to give it a try. When fishing for pike, always strip right to the edge of the boat. Pike are the top predator in, the, in most lakes, and they're not afraid of anything, and that includes a boat. They're not afraid of a boat. So bring it right to the side. 
Many, many times, a pike will hit right at the side of the boat. <laughs> took it on top. <laughs> I was trying to get it to sink and he took it on top. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. There he goes for a run. <laughs> Let him take the line out till I get on the reel. It just allows the fish to help me and then I get him on the reel. Now I can fight him. I didn't, all I seen was a splash. I didn't see how big he was. But <laughs> I was just trying to get the fly to sink and he came up and grabbed it. And we're in seven feet of water, so these are pretty aggressive, aggressive fish. <laughs> that tells me a popper is probably going to work. Great. That was awesome. That's a good fish. That's that's an excellent fish, actually. There we go. That's a pretty nice fish in anybody's mind. Pretty nice fish. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. The pike fishing here at Elk Island Lodge is nothing short of fantastic. The flies I used for them were deceiver type flies. This one is a black deceiver uh, with lots of flash in it. The, the pike loved flash. It would bring them in from a long way when, when they saw that. Uh, big eyes are important on any of your deceivers. It's a, that's a, a, what pike generally cue in and on, on. It makes them look like they're alive. I have a, a, a larger deceiver, but it's a double hooked one. Uh, one. One thing I'll tell you about hooks, you must crush the barb. It's, it's the law here in Manitoba. Again, large eyes. This looked like a, a brook trout, and that's what these pike are feeding on. But the best fly of the bunch was good old red and white bunny leech. Um, the daredevil is the, probably the most famous of uh, lures for pike, and the color for the, of that is red and white. So we use red and white bunny leeches. That worked by far the best of anything. And also bonus, brook trout like it too. More action when we return. The flies on this episode were simple. Because I didn't have any dry fly action, woolly buggers were the, were the choice of the day. I used black ones. A little bit of flash in them was important. I used olive ones with flash again, very important. And trout like white for some reason. They work too. Now, I ran into a bit of a problem was my black, black woolly buggers were a little bit small. The, the guide says, do you have anything bigger? And I says, no, I don't. But what I did have was a smaller second fly. So what I did is I took some monofilament and I tied to get together from the shaft of, uh, from the shank of uh, the hook in front to the second hook. And when I covered it up, I had a much larger profile. And that made a real difference. I would advise you if you're coming, still bring a supply of dry flies. Here I got a, a, a whole bunch of different uh, mayfly patterns. I have a few terrestrials, but they're not working. But the mayflies that were happening were like uh, the one few that I saw were maybe size 12, size 14s. Also important for you to bring your caddis flies because caddis flies are all through the north. And uh, when that happens, it can be pretty exciting. Fish, <laughs> holding right tight to the rock, completely tight to the rock. Oh, whoa, taking some line on me. This might be a nice fish. Still taking line. <laughs> Soon gonna be in my backing. 
Oh, it's, we're officially in my backing. Look at this, folks, officially in my backing. But he's in really fast water. We're going to chase him. I'll just keep it a tight line until we can move back. A brook trout that take me into my backing. Now it's, we're in pretty fast water, so I'm not saying that this is going to be a huge fish, but it's probably going to be a nice one. Oh, there we are. Got my line back. Ooh, I always breathe a sigh of relief when I get my line back on the reel. Oh, boy. He's just majorly hitting. Oh, it's a huge fish. <laughs> it's a big one. Oh, he was shaking his head so hard. Good man. Oh my. Whoa -ho! Whoa -ho! Whoa -ho! It's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> this is what you come to God's Lake for, God's River. Nice, nice brook trout like this. Isn't that something, folks? Nice, nice, big, big, bright red brook trout. And there you go. <laughs> oh, that was spectacular. Our time has come to an end for this week. I'd like to thank Greg Dick and Elk Island Lodge for hosting us. We've had a wonderful time. For more information on this show and others in our series, visit us on the net at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines, and we'll see you next week. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Travel Manitoba, Orvis Sporting Traditions, Rio Products, Superfly, Fly Fishing Made Easy,